Good. Okay, guys, we're going to show you the escape from the rear naked choke. There's a lot of people who teach it, and they sh they say, you know, when you go for the eyes, but good luck trying to find the eyes when you got a few seconds. Try to hit the groin. Uh, try to move behind. The truth is, you only have a split second to react. After two or three seconds, you're going down. Okay. Now I've seen a lot of different moves, and I personally don't think all this stuff that you see doesn't work, right? Um, I want you to try to choke me, and I'll try to go for your face or for your eyes. But the instant you, I, you feel my tap, just stop. Okay. Go. Go again. I'll try and just. I'll just try different stuff. Go. Okay. As you can see. There's no time, okay? Go again, I'll try something else. Oh. Okay. I couldn't get that. Go back up. Better. Come over here. So this is the escape. I didn't want to tell Mark. He's never seen me do it before. So what do you do? You got a split second. The first thing I want to do is automatically drop my weight. And look what you get is this. This is the only thing I've seen that's effective. Okay? Mark, really, go for the choke. Again, if you're dealing, sorry, if you're dealing with a very good grappler, he can probably roll with that and stick to you. However, in the street, you know, again, you're looking at a few seconds. What I like about this move is that it works right away, right? I don't have time to look. Again, drop the weight and flip. Come on top of the person. Again, is it going to work in, you know, in a staircase? Is it going to work in certain closed environments? I don't know, but this is the best that I've seen. And this is what I would do if somebody was to put on the choke. And it's got to be done instantly. Okay?